Hi, today is May 18th, 2024, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 767 for the year, The Avocado Banana Conspiracy. It was maybe some kind of conspiracy in the kitchen yesterday. I had noticed a banana behind a trio of avocados, and it seemed as if the three were trying to hide him. He was old and bruised, but seemingly wise, and the avocados were young, nearly or barely ripe, and impudent. Perhaps I was only imagining that the does were trying to cover up their deed. Perhaps everyone on the counter was completely innocent. Perhaps there is no avocado banana conspiracy whatsoever. Or perhaps I'm being completely naive. Poem number 768, The Banana Avocado Orgy. Perhaps I broke up a banana avocado orgy, or perhaps it had just ended, or perhaps it was just about to begin when I discovered the banana behind the avocados. When I asked them what was going on, Annie, the apparent avocado leader, said, Not much. What's going on with you? I ended the questioning right then and there, because as I thought about it more, I didn't really want to know about what they had been doing. I didn't really want to picture the banana avocado orgy in my mind. Plus, also, I don't know what the laws and customs outside of the non-human world are like. Perhaps three avocados and a banana is a perfectly normal thing in the avocado and banana worlds. For all I know, the banana and the avocados were a happily married forple. Poem number 769, Forple. To make the story of the Forpo less conventionally sexist and patriarchal, it would have been better if the old, weary, withered, and wise banana had been female, and all of the nubile, supple, pliant, compliant, eager avocados had been male. Or they could have all been male, or all female, or some, or all non-binary. My stories and poems could be criticized as being is excessively heteronormative. I, in fact, have criticized my stories and poems as being excessively heteronormative. But the essential thing to emphasize with regard to the forpool is that how they chose to identify and how they lived their lives and how they chose to love each other and make love to each other was up to them, as long as they didn't hurt anybody or each other. Unless, of course, they were into that sort of thing. Poem number 770, The Death of the Forpool. I create personalities for non-persons and breathe life into them, and then I take their lives away. Paraphrasing Groucho, I said, you've been a lovely forpo, but now it's time to play You Lose Your Life, and I ate the banana. Then I brought the three avocados to the crashed spaceship, and Rebecca ate one and a half of them, and I ate the other half of the one she only ate half of, and I gave the remaining avocado to Susan. If she hasn't eaten it yet, it is all alone, and if she has, then the forpool is completely dead and gone. None of this was unexpected. All things must pass. Poem number 771, The Law of Coleslaw. The phrase, the law of coleslaw, came to mind, and for some reason, I googled coleslaw's law, and I learned that there is actually a thing called Cole's law. According to Reddit, the law states that anything that can go wrong will go wrong, and that coleslaw is made with cabbage and vinaigrette. And I said to myself, there's nothing more that I can do here. Poem number 772, Displacement. On the way to the laundromat yesterday, I had a brief moment of sadness thinking about how I soon won't be walking around doing errands in this beautiful neighborhood anymore, but that thought was quickly displaced by the thought of how nice it will be to have laundry in the building. And the last poem of the day, poem number 773, Replacement and Preservation. I originally came up for a different title for the previous poem. I called it Looking Back in Advance, but then I thought... That's a pretty good title. I should use it for another, hopefully better poem another time. And then I thought, plus, that's not precisely what this, meaning that, poem is about. I, so I replaced the title with another title and preserved the original title for another time. All right, that's it. Thank you. I appreciate you.